This episode of Sexplanations is sponsored by AdamandEve.com, a sex toy store that's online with all sorts of goodies for your body. <clears throat> this is my friend Kayla. We are hanging out in Baja, California, sir. We are COVID safe because we've been hanging out in Baja, California, sir, together. I want to know all the things she thinks about boobs. Ready? I'm so ready. Let's talk about boobies. Boobies. Breasts. Boobs. Tatas. We, we have all the knowledge for you. <laughs> I have only talked about breasts on this channel, I think, directly twice. Really? One episode was to talk about how to touch them mm -hmm. in a breast examination kind of way. Okay. And the other one was how to touch them in a pleasure way. So you talked about titty touching. Yeah, titties. Mm -hmm. Jugs. Uggs. Ant hills. Melons. I picked this topic because we have very different chests, I've noticed. Oh, and noticed. I want to know what the differences are and the similarities in our experiences with our chests. I would be curious to know that too. I'm going to say my first experience with my breasts was when I was, I don't know, maybe 9, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. And I got what the doctor called breast buds. I was really afraid that I had some sort of lump or growth in my <laughs> chest. They were like coins in there and they were moving around. And I was like, what is, I don't know what this is. And then the doctor told me breast buds. What about you? You know, I remember feeling like I wanted to cover myself up because I have bigger boobs. And so I remember feeling like I was, I developed faster than some other girls my age. I didn't like that. So I wanted to cover them up. I also remember one, one time when I was younger, it was in style to wear like a low cut shirt, but with a tank top underneath. And I sometimes, us girls, we would wear like a lacy top underneath or a non-lacy one. And I wore a lacy one underneath open. And I think this is when I just first got boobs and my mom told me I looked like a Valentine's Day present. And I was super mortified by this experience. And then I was like, wow, maybe I should cover these up so I don't look like a Valentine's Day present. Because that would be bad. You felt like that was not a positive thing? Yeah, I did. I felt like I didn't want to be a Valentine's Day present. I wanted to just be normal. How do you relate to your boobs now? Now? I would say that my relationship with them is better, but I don't know. I kind of struggle with having big boobs. I guess I wish they were smaller. Really? Yeah. I mean, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in terms of like this idea of presentation of breasts or sexualizing them, I have this memory of wearing a, like an overall thing that had a tie here. You know how they cinch? Yeah. And somebody making a comment about how they wanted to to untie that. There, that's a thing. That means that like something in this area mm -hmm. is valuable to someone. Yeah, I think that's kind of like the present thing that my mom said. Mm -hmm. You unwrap a gift. It's kind of similar. I mean, I get the impression that you like your chest because you wear these fantastic outfits that extend accentuate all of your body, but definitely don't hide your top. Yeah, I feel like I've kind of learned like not to hide my body. I try hard to celebrate my body. Mm -hmm. It's all, It's not always the easiest, but I would say that something frustrating about having big boobs is that you could try to, you might want to wear something that another girl is wearing and people might think that you're trying to expose yourself simply because your breasts are bigger. And so if I were to wear what Lindsay was wearing, I would look totally different than her and I would probably look like I was trying to expose my breasts. Whereas if I wore what you were wearing, I would look chalkboard flat. Yeah, or more modest. Yeah. Like sometimes people would, I feel like people have said things like, oh, wow, you dress awfully scandalous. And I'm like, no, I don't, I wasn't trying to, but then I'm like, oh, whoops, my boobs are out. Oh, that must be so frustrating. It is. And maybe that's why I have the relationship that I do with them, especially when I was younger and I didn't really know how to deal with self-worth and emotions. What about titty fucking? I mean, it's uh, fun. Yeah, I have to like, I mean, get in like armpit skin and then I'll like really go like that and really there's like no friction. I just have to hold mine. I just, just like, hold them just there. Like that. <laughs> Boobs. No. Yeah, me neither. What about sensations? Sensations. Yeah. Like nipple some, play. Yeah. Some days of the month, it's like the best. I don't need you to touch me anywhere else. Just there. Just like, and then other days of the month, I feel like those cats where you're like, meh, meh, and then I just want to scratch, like don't touch my tits. <laughs> I would agree. Actually, I feel I have the same, I feel the same. Some days it's like really nice to be touched in the nipples and other days they're too sensitive. Yeah, and it's like, someone tries to touch them and you're like, stop. Our poor partners. <laughs> How could they know? I mean, we had some apps to track that. Oh yes, or something called communication. <laughs> There's two men who don't have breasts filming us right now. And I wonder what would be comparable to them. It's not like they compare their ball sacks. 
maybe they're dicks, but everything is really <laughs> covered for the most part. That's true. Breasts are a lot more out in the open than dicks or they totally are. The cameramen want to ask us questions about our boobs. First question, has anyone outright asked if they could touch our boobs? Yes, definitely. Do you remember the words used? Can I touch your boobs? Actually, one time a woman I met in a bar on Halloween asked me if she could motorboat my breasts. And what did you say? I said yes. <laughs> okay, so then the second question is, if we could determine the size of our chest, like mm -hmm. we're born without boobs, we get whatever size we want, mm -hmm. what size would you choose? Well, I would choose probably like a C cup, mm -hmm. like a true C cup. I have double Bs, and yeah, I would like to go down to a C if I could choose. Cause then I could wear those cute little like tube tops. Oh, like, bathing suits. Oh, I can't wear all those. those fucking clothes. So much about fashion. It is. So it's sad. Also, I, I just feel like I like that size. Like if I were to choose, I wouldn't want to be super small chested. I don't think I would want mine as big as they are now. I would like to have a C cup that's very in the middle. What about you? I like my boobs. I like that's my boobs awesome. as I age because I noticed that like when I was little, mm -hmm. they would have been here. So they've actually descended their entire size. People who have breasts that are larger than mine, they go like this and they're like nothing against them. Mm -hmm. They're just very utterly. And Butters. I like that my that's breasts are just like this and I, I don't, I just fuck bras, fuck mm -hmm. the fashion. Yeah, wearing a bra. Didn't you ask the question like, what's your favorite kind of bra to wear? I said bralettes. What mm -hmm. I should have said was no bra. That's that's the best. Yeah, but some people can't. <clears throat> that's true. And then you get like the shame face when you're out in public. I just go full. Or 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 you have a friend who you're wearing a white shirt and she says, oh, nipples when she takes a picture of you. <laughs> There's all this dimension <laughs> and then you're just, yeah. Third question, how do we feel about breast augmentation? Not necessarily for ourselves, but as something people do. You should go first on that one. Man, this is hard. I remember going to a restaurant in San Francisco called Asia SF, and I didn't realize that all of the servers who were also performing, they were doing lip syncing shows, that they were also trans women. Mm -hmm. And so we got into this huge conversation about boob jobs and uh, you know like what it means about self-esteem and body image etc and i as this like very young undereducated person was like oh i think people should just be happy with their chest the way they are not realizing that these are people who experience body dysphoria they don't relate to having a more masculine chest and so breast augmentation is actually really important to their mental health in addition to their physical appearance you how do i feel about it I mean, I kind of think that it's up to the person. It's like, if someone wants to do to change that part of them, they should be able to. I, two of my friends have breast augmentation and it's, they're definitely very proud of them, which I think is cool. It almost makes me feel like I want it too. Like when you're surrounded by people who all have this thing and you're like, I don't have that. And their tits are all perky and mine are more natural. And then we're all going topless and I'm like, and I look and I'm like, oh, so two of my friends have boob jobs and mine are gonna look saggy next to them. And then it's weird. It's just one of those beauty standards as well, I think. It's strange when the beauty standard matches something that is not how we're like naturally directed. But when I say things like that, I think about how I got braces or mm -hmm. I put on mascara or I wear clothes, which is not how we were genetically designed. And I've had a friend who just outright took my hands and put them on her chest and was like, look at these things that I just got. They're so great. All my clothes fit. It's wonderful. And she <laughs> has a similar build to me. And I went through that mental exercise you were talking about where it's like, oh shit, am I supposed to get these two? Will mm -hmm. I be happier if I have them? I'm no, tiny tits forever. It would actually be fascinating to like compare nipples with people. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did that in college. You did? I'm in a room of women and they were very modest people. So I was surprised that this all happened and I didn't instigate it. But then all of a sudden everybody took off their shirts and their bras and they're all <laughs> boobs and doing comparisons. It's fantastic. Yeah. That is a positive boob memory. That's a really good positive boob memory. I'll show you my boobs later. Okay. Yeah. You can see mine too. Okay. <laughs> Want to play with sex toys? Sure. Okay. What do we got? These are the ones that I've shown on the channel already, but I want to revisit them with your perspective. This one I really like. I feel like I'd really like that too. I try to give it to lots of people. Do you want this one? Sure. Then we I can would give love each one. other massages. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, three in one massage candle. Ooh. Naked in the woods is the scent. It's made out of hemp seed. I mean, naked in the woods, that's awesome. 
Shall we try it? Pretty. Very nice. This one is guava lava. That sounds amazing. Oh. Candle. Here, hold all of these Ooh, things. This is this one is good. I really like this. And this one is dreamsicle. All right, pretty candles. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to hold this for you? I'll set it down. Ready? These are the ones that I went through with Santi in a previous episode. These are the nipple shockers. You don't have to put them on. But I want to know, really what do you think? You saw the episode. Wow. This is about breasts. What do you think? This looks serious. Like, it kind of looks like a medical device. Yeah. I don't know if I would really want this on my nipple. It looks aggressive. My nipples are like, like that big. Mine are smaller than that. Are they that they're like that big? Yeah. So this is like somebody with a nipple like that. You get bigger nipples when you use things like that. That makes sense. So do you, do you use these? I haven't used them. Am I hurting you? Uh, nope. Do you realize what's happening to yeah, you? Yeah, I, I do. And then- I'm not sure about the it. cupping. But yeah. for your- Yeah. And not you then- Okay, let's take it off. Put the energy in here to- Should I just pull it off? There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, next toy. The womanizer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the ship from Star Trek. Yeah. Or some That's for additional clit sucking heads and the cord. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you can choose. Uh -huh. I like the best. Yeah. You could probably even move this out of the way and put your nipple in there. Look like that. And then you and then it's have like a, a nipple sucker. But yeah. It, Everything's it does related everything. to the boobs. That's today. why it's the womanizer. It does it all. Yeah. And this could be anal or vaginal. What do you think? It's like fun. And when you use the promo code DOE, D -O -E, my last name, you can get 50% off an eligible item plus free shipping on your whole order to the US or Canada. Stay, Stay curious. curious.